Hoping to lose some weight, a reclusive teenager spends the Easter holidays with her nutritionist aunt, but her transformative journey takes a sinister turn. Simi arrives at her aunt's secluded farmhouse earlier than planned to spend the Easter holidays. Inside, she finds nobody, so she knocks on the window when someone outside passes by. Suddenly, the renowned nutritionist, Aunt Claudia, warmly greets her niece, who apologizes for arriving at the house unexpectedly. Nevertheless, Claudia helps carry her niece's bag to her room, passing by the acclaimed nutritionist's poster. Upstairs, Simi will share her cousin Philippe's room, where she finds vile words carved on the bed frame. Embarrassed, Claudia asks why Simi wanted to spend Easter with them, so the teenager claims she's never seen her after her aunt's divorce. Since Easter is a private family celebration, Celebration, Claudia clarifies to her niece that she can only stay until Friday. Regardless, she assures that Simi is welcome at their home. Later that day, the anxious teenager calls her mother to inform her that she'll return home on Friday instead of the following Monday. Worriedly, her mother wonders if Claudia rejected Simi's underlying request, but the teenager says she hasn't asked about it yet. At dinner with Philippe and Claudia's new lover Stefan, the woman encourages her guests to eat as much as she likes, but Simi politely declares. Lines. After the nutritionist cuts her teenage son's steak for him, Simi notices that Claudia and Stefan won't have dinner. As a way of abstinence during Lent, Claudia confirms they're religious in a non-traditional way. Afterward, while Simi despondently eyes her figure in the bathroom mirror, Philippe barges inside and cleans his body. When he notices his cousin staring, he confronts and insults her appearance, making the insecure teen more self-conscious. In bed, Simi hides her phone when Claudia enters the room to check on her son's device. Once satisfied with her fruitless prying, she bids him goodnight and leaves. Whereas as Philippe flicks with his pocket knife menacingly in the dark. When Simi wakes in the middle of the night, she heads downstairs and witnesses Claudia and Stefan in a steamy exchange through their open candlelit bedroom. On a jog the following day, Simi sees a stack of branches in the middle of a clearing. Curious, the teenager encircles the bonfire setup and sees a fuel container and a bag hidden between the branches. Inside it, she finds clothes and a candy bar before leaving it behind. When Simi returns to the house, she finds a sumptuous meal on the dining table while Stefan finishes his morning workout. Flustered by last night's memory, Simi declines his offer for breakfast. Asking about the pile of wood, Simi learns that her aunt plans to have an Easter bonfire. Stefan urges her to eat with him so Claudia won't catch him failing their fasting. However, the relentless teen declines and immediately heads to the bathroom. After showering, Simi finds her aunt putting her stuff in Philippe's empty drawer without permission. As Claudia unpacks her niece's bag, she finds a magazine she authored with annotations. Learning that Simi studied her works, Claudia asks if she came to her for help in losing weight. Instead of admitting the truth, Simi says no, so the nutritionist reveals she can't help her anyway since she's too busy for the Easter celebration. Nevertheless, Claudia offers to lead her in the right direction. Later that day, Simi hopelessly assures her mother through text that she's doing fine. The mother then sends an encouraging message, reminding her daughter that she's beautiful the way she is. As Claudia passes Simi by hurriedly, the curious teenager follows and watches her argue with Stefan outside through the window. Then the anxious woman re-enters the house, looking for Philippe. When Simi answers that she hasn't seen him, Claudia reveals her son has disappeared, insisting they call the police before dark. However, Simi thinks she knows where her cousin has gone and leads her aunt to the bonfire site. There, Stefan finds his stepson and reunites with Claudia. That night, Claudia reveals Philippe lost his way while playing in the woods. Grateful for her niece's help, the nutritionist changes her mind and offers to help Simi lose some weight until Sunday, delighting the teenager. At dinner, Philippe joins the table and glares at an elated Simi, who smiles at the appetizing meal in front of her. After putting food on her son's plate, Claudia takes away her niece's plate to start detoxifying her body. Taken aback, Simi learns she won't have any meal until Sunday surprising Stefan as well. Nevertheless, Claudia affirms her strict regimen, claiming she'll start a low-calorie diet afterward, assuring her niece of the effective method. After dinner, Simi contemplates as she cleans Philippe's leftovers, but decides against her tempting thoughts. As her pupil, Claudia helps her niece check her weight and measure her fat in the bathroom to customize her diet meticulously. She then warns Simi that she'll quit helping her if she doesn't abide by her instructions. As Simi is about to sleep, she shockingly 
shockingly finds a beheaded rat on her pillow, which Claudia immediately removes. When Simi asks Philippe if he's responsible, the teenage boy only flips her off while flicking his pocket knife. Disturbed, Simi asks to sleep elsewhere, so her aunt gives her a mattress in the living room. On her way, Simi meets Stefan, who tells her she doesn't need to lose weight since she's beautiful the way she is. However, the determined teen doesn't mind his advice and proceeds downstairs. The following day, Simi only watches Philippe heartily eat his luscious pancakes. While spaced out that afternoon, Claudia calls her and furiously confronts her with a candy bar wrapper she found in her bag. However, Simi denies eating it and blames Philippe for planting it on her. Affronted, the devout nutritionist thinks she made a mistake in helping her niece, so Simi desperately pleads that it won't happen again. Later that day, Simi finds her aunt tending to Philippe's swollen eye with a compress, wondering what happened to her mischievous cousin. At dinner, Simi asks about Philippe's eye, but Claudia answers for him, claiming he fell clumsily while she serves his favorite dish. Stefan playfully reaches for the food, but his lover swats his arm. Joking aside, Stefan insists they don't need to be so strict as he's concerned about their guest. However, the determined teenager refuses Stefan's generosity and sips her tea, pleasing Claudia. While monitoring her weight in the bathroom, Simi cautiously asks her aunt if Stefan may be responsible for Philippe's eye. Cutting her off, Claudia believes her lover is actually fond of his stepson, but Simi remains doubtful. Then, the nutritionist encourages her pupil by giving her a pendant, claiming it'll fade her hunger whenever she touches it. In the living room, Claudia tells Simi to forget about the rat and return to Philippe's room since she needs to work there. The renowned nutritionist is working on another book about food in ancient cultures, so Simi curiously asks if she can read it, but Claudia sends her off to bed. Unable to sleep due to hunger, Simi grabs her pendant hoping to relieve her struggle. Eventually, she heads downstairs for a glass of water when she eyes the refrigerator. However, Simi finds it empty and Stefan sees her, thinking she can't restrain herself from eating. The man sympathizes with her since he's unashamedly failed his fasting. Then, Stefan drinks from Simi's glass and taunts her alluringly to satisfy a different kind of hunger. Cornered, the cautious woman stabs him with a knife, making him lean on her breathlessly. But Simi suddenly awakens from her nightmare. When the hungry teenager gets up, she checks the fridge and finds it full, contrary to her dream. In the dining room, Simi claims she didn't sleep well, to which Claudia replies that her body is effectively burning fat. Then, Stefan greets them good morning, whom Simi warily regards. When the man is about to leave and hunt, Claudia persuades him to take Philippe. Despite her son not wanting to be left alone with his stepfather, Claudia insists they'll have a fun boys' day. Seeing her cousin distressed, Simi volunteers to join the hunt. In the woods, Simi watches Philippe shoot down a rabbit in the distance while Stefan compliments him. When the trio approaches the hare, Stefan hands his stepson a knife to finish his job and end its suffering. However, Philippe remains frozen as he hesitates to kill the poor animal despite Stefan's frustration. To help him out, Simi grabs the knife and immediately eliminates the rabbit. When the trio returns to the farm, Stefan irritatingly dismisses Philippe and orders his guest to follow him and finish what she started. Thinking that Stefan dislikes Philippe, Simi watches him prepare their hunt and asks if it's for Easter Sunday. The man lets her anticipate the celebration and commends her work before she leaves to dump the waste. In the woods, Simi empties the bucket by the bonfire site and contemplates eating the hare's piece of organ but decides against it. When Simi returns to Philippe's room, the hostile teen tearfully curses at his cousin, depreciating her attempt to help him earlier. Trying to reconcile with her cousin, Simi claims she would have run away too if Stefan was her stepfather. Despite despising Stefan, Philippe reveals he's trying to escape from his mother, thinking she'll harm him soon. He insists that Claudia is a psychopath who isolates him from his friends, but Simi finds him crazy and storms off as her cousin starts berating her again. That night, in the bathroom, the nutritionist notices her knees spacing out, so the young woman reluctantly reveals that Philippe is afraid of his mother, thinking she'll harm him. Despondent, Claudia sits on the bathtub and claims her son has a mixed personality disorder, which explains his paranoia. Crying, Claudia reveals that Philippe's condition is worsening, making him change schools repeatedly. 
Having witnessed her aunt's vulnerability, Simi trusts Claudia, just as she trusts her with her worries. In bed, Simi watches her aunt bring Philippe water and checks his phone before bidding him good night. Contrary to his mother's actions, the hostile boy insists she hates him, to which his cousin disagrees. Adamant, Philippe reveals that he'll stab Claudia if she threatens him. Thinking his cousin is teaming up with his mother, Philippe points his knife to Simi, who nervously refutes his claims, so he returns to his bed. The following day, Simi holds her pendant as she stares at the bread before her. Then, she watches Claudia suspiciously bury something outside. As the woman leaves, Simi checks on the fresh soil, where she finds a stone on it, while a totem and Philippe's picture are underneath. Disturbed, Simi calls her mother, learning that her aunt has been esoteric ever since, so she plans to return home. Suddenly, Claudia appears, so the young woman ends the call and puts the phone on the floor, denying that it's anything important. Later that day, Simi asks her aunt if she has seen her phone, but Claudia denies it and accidentally cuts herself while washing a knife. When the woman leaves to fix her wound, Simi hurriedly rummages through the drawers for her device. Eventually, Simi enters Claudia's room and continues her search. Then, she opens a wardrobe and finds her aunt's ongoing book inside. Curious, she flips through the pages and finds meticulous research on ancient rituals and images implying a cannibalistic endeavor. That night, Simi struggles to hide her uneasiness before Claudia as Stefan and Philippe return from a hunt. Immediately, she follows her exhausted cousin into his room and says that she'll join him escape. However, Philippe doubts his cousin for ratting him out, claiming they can't leave anyway since Stefan has started locking the gate. At dinner, Claudia Claudia serves her son's lavish hunt as the meal while Simi stares at the meat. Suddenly, she tells her aunt that she wants to quit her diet, claiming she's starving and can no longer continue. Unfortunately, the staunch dietitian denies her pupil's plea. Unexpectedly, Philippe offers his plate to his cousin despite his mother's grave look. Sensing the woman's rage, Simi pushes the plate back, but Philippe lashes out at his mother and berates her books, enraging Stefan. When Philippe remains unmoving, his mother strikes him, so Simi fervently persuades her wounded cousin to eat. To curb her hunger, Simi eats toothpaste in the bathroom and despondently washes off the rest. Then, Claudia claims she's hurt by her son's disorder, but swears that everything will be alright on Easter. Easter Sunday as she invites her niece to partake in the celebration. Later that night, Simi watches Stefan leave his room and cautiously steals the keys from his drawer. When she returns to her room, she finds her aunt crying and apologizing to her son. After Claudia leaves, Simi shows Philippe the key to the gate, urging him to plan their escape. Realizing their goal, Philippe sets his alarm at 6 in the morning to catch the first train to Vienna. When they turn off the lights, Philippe tells her to learn to accept her body, but his cousin refuses to listen to his judgment. When Simi wakes the following day, she finds her cousin gone at 8 in the morning with the gate opened. Realizing that Philippe left her behind, Simi sulks on the table as they await any news about the boy's whereabouts. Then, Stefan announces that Philippe is with his father on the phone in Vienna, easing Claudia's worries. Later that day, Simi asks Stefan to take her home to Vienna as well, claiming she wants to spend Easter with her mother. Without further questions, the man tells her to pack her things, so Simi returns to Philippe's room. While packing, Simi finds her phone underneath the drawer and texts Philippe, only to receive a foul reply and a photo of his hand in a rude gesture. In the dining room, Simi asks her aunt if she's sad about Philippe's absence. Then, Claudia apologizes for her erratic behavior and unpleasant hospitality during her stay. While the dietitian softens up, she urges her niece to quit the diet whenever she wants. As Simi's discomfort eases away, she tells Stefan that she has changed her mind and wants to finish fasting. That night, Claudia helps her niece dress up for the feast while Stefan prepares the dining table outside. When the clock strikes 12, starting Easter Sunday, Claudia leads Simi to her seat as she fervently prays over the food for a new beginning. Afterward, the woman persuades her niece to eat as much as she likes and cuts the meat for her. Simi holds her pendant and takes a bite of the food while the couple follow suit. As the trio savors the end of their excruciating fast, Claudia and Stefan bid goodnight to their guest, who will be leaving in the morning. Unable to sleep after relieving her starvation, Simi sits up and suspiciously finds Philippe's pocket knife on the floor. Then, she texts her cousin and notices the background of the photo he sent earlier was the outhouse, implying that the picture was 
was taken where she watched Stefan butcher their hunt. With chills down her spine, Simi breaks into the outhouse, calling for Philippe. However, she finds her cousin's lifeless body on the slab as memories of the feast flood her mind. Then, Stefan comforts the teen, insisting that she knew what she was eating that night since she decided to stay. When Simi continues crying, Stefan offers to take her back to Vienna and forget everything. As they exit the outhouse, Simi grabs her pendant in comfort and stabs Stefan repeatedly with Philippe's knife. Outside, Claudia sees them and catches her niece, but Simi overpowers her and runs away. Into the woods, the couple drive their car into the bonfire site, where Claudia searches for her niece between the bonfire branches, insisting that Philippe has become one with them. When the young woman doesn't respond, she furiously douses the bonfire with fuel. Suddenly, Simi pours fuel on her aunt from behind and immediately ignites her to her death. Moments later, the detached Simi sits beside Stefan's dying body, who hands her his gun as she grabs her pendant in solace. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.